Okay, so this video is about how and why we want to bleed a radiator. Why we want to bleed a radiator is if you're experiencing the radiator is colder at the top than is at the bottom. So warm at the bottom, cold trapped air at the top. Or if there is gaggle within the radiator and trapped air and you can just hear it. So how to bleed the radiator. Turn the heat pump off on its operations and there's a video on that on the end user's guide. Turn the operations off, hold the towel underneath, get your bleed key, open it up and you'll see either water or air coming out. If it's water, it's bled. If there's air, you'll hear the hissing until the water arrives and that means it's full up of water. As this will drop pressure out of the system because you're either dropping water or air, obviously just preferably the air until water comes, then you've got to top the pressure back up. Around about one and a half bar will do the trick. There is a video on repressurizing the cylinder on the end user's guide as well. So start uh, at the bottom floor and work your way up because air rises and, and that will bleed the system throughout. That's how you bleed the radiator and how you repressurize it after bleeding the radiators. I hope that helps.